Well, good morning, folks. We got rained out yesterday, so uh, we're gonna get started. When we start today, we're up in Hurricane. It's a pretty busy day today. I got I got to work in Hurricane today, uh, and then Mark with Mid Atlantic Drilling and Mid Atlantic Drilling and Meridian Construction is going to be uh, calling me after a while. I gotta I gotta go up and meet with him. Um, in cross lanes and look at a little job. Uh, it's one of those hurry up and get it done things. So we're going to look at it and hopefully get it scheduled in there. I'm going to squeeze him in uh, next week, uh, get him knocked out. I got to I gotta try to get, uh, man, I got a lot of stuff to do today. Uh, I got to try to get locates on a job down in La Valette. I got to try to call in the uh, preacher or Timex. Uh, he only worked one day this week. I'm going to try to put him on that project next week and try to, uh, i got to try to cut loose on one of these guys to send with him to have him a swamper. Um, he's got to lay some gas line and some water line down there. Uh, just been a bear. Just been a bear. Uh, growing pains, trying to get everybody working, trying to get everybody completed in a timely manner. Um, it, it, you know, it's been a little bit of a struggle. It's a good struggle, good problem to have, but it's still very stressful. Uh, today, we're going to grub these trees and stuff off this lot so I can go get this lot dozed out. Got quite a bit of bigger trees on it. Uh, quite a few bigger trees on it, really. So, we're going to try to uh, try to get it done. Uh, get ready for some dozing tomorrow. Uh, if I would have got rained out yesterday, I probably could have got this job done Friday and moved on. But now, because of that nonsense, we're um, looking to be it'll be next week before I finish. So, which ain't too big of a deal, really. I mean, it ain't that big of a deal. But I got didn't get done on the last job till Monday. And then that throw me behind this week. And then if I get behind another day this week, then that's going to put me behind two days next week. So that's how the math works, in case you people out there wanted to know. Uh, every day I get rained out or miss, or even don't get finished up the week and have to go out the next week, it just screws everything up because we spent a whole day just moving equipment. That's all we did was just move the equipment. Uh, now, yeah, we, could we have worked? Yeah. We could have worked up there. But by the time you would have got your saws and everything out, and you'd grubbed anything, I don't know if you'd even made any progress. And then with the rain we had yesterday, that could have very well, if you had that like, ground opened up, that could have very well ruined the project for a day or two. So you may have went backwards if you did that. I had to learn that stuff the hard way. Uh, other than that, getting started this morning. So. You guys, uh, thank you for tuning in and hold tight. Well, here is the job at hand. We got some clarity in here. The only thing you can see there with the white X's has got to come out. Got a little bit of stuff. Nothing too awful bad. Hoping to get all the clearing done today. Where you see the markers, that's a gas line. We're going to relocate it, so we just gotta to, got to get the trees off of it. Get that part done today. That's a dead snag hung up. Barely. You see up at the top. We'll try to knock that thing down without tearing anything up. I haven't really just figured out how to do it. I think I'm gonna hook a chain around the base of it because right there is where she comes from. I think I'll just hook a chain around the base of it pull it out that way. I think that'd be the safest way to do it. <sighs> good little job, good little clearing project. Get the project done here. There's gas line. Get this. There's one there. Got some pretty nice little red oaks and chestnut oaks. And there's one chestnut oak, there's some white oaks here and there. It's uh, that's some pretty nice wood. Well, let's get at it. 
And we cleaned us a spot out to uh, put our brush. Knocked it down here and dried this out. Where it rained yesterday, it was a little, it rained yesterday, it was a little uh, damp. It's still a little damp, but he can climb up and down, up back up and down. It. We'll start putting a smaller brush through these two trees on this end. Y'all see that propane tank? Yeah, that was buried over here underneath some stuff. And uh, while I was spinning, shoving out some of them bigger hickories, it exploded underneath my tracks. No fire, it was a compression explosion. And then it smelled <clears throat> like rotten eggs, of course, like propane. So, fun times, man. Well, it's about lunchtime. We got, uh, we got most of them. We got most of them grubbed out. I think I'm gonna back up and take this other red oak out. I busted that one whenever I rooted it out and it fell and put on the forks and popped it. Uh, right here's that gas line. She's all. Getting her cleaned up and cleaned out. I think that other red oak needs to come out. Cause it's gonna, it's gonna be close. I think I can get by with him other little groove of white oak over there, but I think this other red oak, I think it needs to come out too. This big one here's coming out. And that set of white oaks, that one and that one and then that line, and then I gotta hook a chain around this and pull it out. And I'm gonna leave this white oak here that's hung up in. I think I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I think I'll just leave it. It's about 11 o'clock. I think I'll send Pooh Bear after some lunch. And me and uh, Jimmy Brar will... Me and Jimmy Brar will work a little bit here until he gets back. Yep. It's not a good plan. Well, we got everything cleaned off and cleared off. We got the keyway, keyway started right over there. Getting ready to send Pooh Bear down over the hill with the roller to start rolling in our, our lift or keyway and get it ready prepped up. Got Jimmy Brawler on the excavator. He's getting ready to dig us out of a stunt pit. And uh, get this show, get this after lunch show started. Customer added uh, added some more trees to us, so we got them out this morning. We're running a little bit behind. We hauled in hauled in some logs. <clears throat> I don't know how many board feet I had on that truck and trailer. Customers got their gas line moved over yesterday. Put my dresser clamp on it. Uh, Jimmy Brawler getting moved in to where he needs to be. Boy, I tell you what, it's gonna be a bear. I mean, it's going to be a bear. Trying to get all this to look right. <clears throat> I know, ain't nothing for my caliber, but Anyway, let me get up here and make sure Pooh Bear don't turn his fool self over. And we'll get us some videos. Oh, he got her down in there. Uh, not too bad of a cut job. I probably put my keyway in a little bit deeper than what I should have, but there just ain't a whole lot of options. Uh, to be honest, they just really ain't a whole lot of options other than to do it like it is. I told him I said, we'll cut it down about four feet on this upper side up here. 
in order to give him enough level. And even then, I don't think it's going to be level. He don't want to be too far below the road. I told him he may just have to block his house up higher and then backfill back around it or something. Even put it up on a garage. This would be a really good place set up for a garage. You could build, you know, have a nice garage up underneath your house. That might be the best thing to do. Uh, looks like Jimmy Brar already got into some good rock over the sounds like <clears throat> we may have to change locations of our stuff. See what happens here. That's the only way a man can learn, man. Just give him some seat time and walk away from him and don't make him feel like you're watching every daggone minute of it. I know that's how it was for me whenever I started learning. I just didn't want somebody sitting there staring. I didn't want nobody to let me get hurt, but I didn't want somebody to sit there and just stare at me. So, okay, I got to get these daggone stumps out of my way, but I can do a little bit of work. I'm going to get these stumps out of my way pretty quick because I need all this dirt I can get. Stay tuned. Oh, probably. I, I run over one of them, I think, whenever I brought equipment. When I brought equipment in, I think I run over some. That UPS driver about run over the hill on us. I don't. I just seen a brown truck about run over the hill over there. I don't know if it was a woman or who it was, but yeah, yeah, yeah. She. I don't know if she's gawking at us, but she just about. Well, there she is, folks. All done and completed. A nice little pad. He says if his mom don't build a house there, he's gonna build a nice big new shop. So, guys did a great job. Everything's compacted. Everything's been pushed in, locked in. We took that hump off. Remember that big old hump, that big dead nasty looking tree? Got it off there, got everything stowed away. We're ready to head to the barn. Thank y'all for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And have a great weekend. Hey guys, thanks for uh, watching there. And I probably should have done a little bit better at uh, getting some clips on this project. It wasn't a real big project. It was all kind of right there um, and wasn't a whole lot of work. I mean, sometimes we'd all have to kind of stand back and let the other one do some work, like when I was running the excavator and whatever else. But uh, we got that job done. I uh, got the guys paid. Uh, got checks wrote, guys are paid, everything's done. So, it's Friday night. It's about 8.30. Um, I'm going to get this video up. Probably get it uh, Probably get it uploading before I go to bed tonight. So, you'll be sometime tonight. It'll be on. I just want to let y'all guys know that I appreciate y'all out there. I sent a couple hats out to some cats. Uh, I'm out. I'm out of cat hats. I gave uh, the last hat I had, I gave it to uh, my customer. So I thought, you know, he spent some money with me. The least I could do is give him a hat. Uh, I have to give some more ordered up here. Uh, Miss Kay's been kind of keeping close tabs on what I've been spending money on, so I've been having to hold back a little bit. But uh need to get some shirts. I know his T-shirt season's coming up, so I need to get some T-shirts and stuff ordered and uh, get uh, get that on the books for us. Uh, we got plenty of stuff going on. We got American Tower job we got to work on uh, next week. Uh, doing a road repair, road road um, improvement project. I got to go down and get Mark's big 180 with a hammer, with his excavator with a big hammer. I got to take it up there and hammer in some culverts. I need to take my excavator up there, my skid steer, my roller. So I've got three trips to go up there my 700 i'll probably just stall it out where it's at and i'll move it up i'll move it to the next job when i come back down through air or something i don't i don't really know what i'll do with it but um 
I got some gas line. I got to call this guy right now. As soon as I get done with this, I'm going to call him and see if I can't talk him into going ahead and going with a one-inch line because I cannot find inch and a quarter, inch and a half water line. It's a week to 14 days out, uh, getting it in. It's just, ain't, ain't nobody got it. Nobody's got it. Uh, with the COVID and stuff, it's really uh, put a lot of people behind. Culverts are getting hard to get right now. Um, I've got some jobs for some culverts, and I can't even get them. So, I mean, we're we're pretty, uh, we're, you know, we are what we are. So, I'm getting ready to cut this light out, get ready to turn this camera off, make one phone call, and I'm going back toward the house. So, you guys have a fun-filled day, and keep your dirty side down, and remember, share, share, share.